Right, so this solution here is for the cartridge problem. One of the more cartridges appear to be missing or damaged. At first we couldn't figure out why this was happening and then we figured out that it's really a firmware related thing. Uh, so showing all four cartridges at the same time, this might require you to do it more than once. So what you're going to do, if you have a CIS system, you have to remove whatever you have jammed on the lid sensor. So this is what I have jammed in there. I take it off. Then you're going to unlock all the cartridges from the carriage. And you're not, you don't have to remove the cartridges all the way, just leave them unlocked as you see it there. And turn off the printer. Yeah, it does take a few minutes for it to shut down and turn back on. Alright. As soon as we turn the printer back on, just basically wait for it to move around. And when it's finally in this position where black is lined up with black, yellow and cyan and magenta are all lined up, then that's when we're going to lock the cartridges back in. Uh, this would also apply with the refillable cartridges. It shows that the door is open which is what we want and there's the positioning we want so what we're gonna do is lock the cartridges in now uh, I had these cartridges installed it wouldn't work for me the first time two of them worked the second time and then so on so it's gonna take you more than one or two tries to get this going okay all right so I got all of them in there I'm gonna go ahead and rejam my sensor Once again, might not work the first time, so you might want to try it more than once before uh, giving up on this. Uh, I almost gave up myself until I finally realized. So see, now it shows it again. So we're going to do it one more time. Take it out. Again, I showed all of them at the same time again. That's not normal. See, took me two tries, but there it is. So you just have to basically, you see how it was unlocked. I turned off the printer, turned it back on, locked them back in. There shows that it's not recognized again. So I basically removed whatever was lit, jammed on the lid sensor, uh, unlocked the cartridges again, locked them in one more time. At the second time that I did that, it actually worked. So just because it doesn't work the first time, doesn't necessarily mean it's not gonna work. Um, so now we got a different error message. It says non-HP cartridges. Once you get to this message here, you're pretty much good to go. So you press OK. And to verify that the printer is recognizing the cartridges, press the ink button on the printer. And you're going to see that they're all full. Uh, if you have any questions, make sure to visit our Freshdesk at uh, cisinks.freshdesk.com. Thank you.